Here we are on a project with Baylor Brothers. We're working on this back patio. We're doing permeable pavement in here. We have a louvered pergola from Unlimited Pergolas. And then we're also gonna be doing some landscaping in the back here. Some retaining walls down the far side, some steps. So we got a really cool project here. Really excited to show you guys how this comes out. All right, that's got all equal 30, but then you need- but now we're gonna subtract. Yeah, so you're gonna be 40, 44 inches. So here we put our sauna tubes in, and the nice part about using a pipe like this as a sauna tube it has much more structure to it than just a typical sauna tube, as well as some of these grooves in the pipe that the fill and the dirt migrates into and really locks it together so you don't end up with a lot of uplift on something like this. So we're gonna be pouring these in the springtime. Uh, we're not gonna be pouring them now. So we're able to actually compact around this unit here and not have to worry about it collapsing like you would with a regular sauna tube. So we love using these as our sauna tubes. They're a great, great way to go. So in order to compact around these columns, we're gonna use the 660 SRV. The base in this project is super important. We have our geotextile fabric on the bottom. We have a four inch pipe that's perforated. It's gonna collect any of the water in this system. And as you can see, we're using some two inch stone, washed two inch stone, real big, allowing any of that water to sit in this area, go through that drain, and then back out into the environment. So we got some gas work on this project. We're gonna have a grill island in here. So ran our gas, we're 18 inches down. We have our tracking wire on top, not touching the line in case it was to heat up. We don't want it to burn through the plastic line. And then also put down some gas tape so we can detect where it is. Um, and this is a steel gas tape, so it allows you to detect it with a, with a metal detector. So very important to have these things in place when you're doing gas work. Also, use a guy that's has a license to do the gas work. Don't try to do it all on your own. This is with a licensed gas, licensed gas guy. Um, so, good to go. Ready for the grill. On the back side of this property, we have 11 feet of difference between our top of our patio height down to this asphalt area here. We're gonna be doing a couple tiered walls, as well as a couple steps up the hillside so that people can get from the patio up top down to this bottom area. Things are coming out quite nicely on this project. Super exciting to see things come together. Obviously, we'll try to keep you guys updated as we go. We're here in Connecticut. Things are a little bit chilly, so we'll see what the weather has in store for us, but we'll be finishing up the project in the springtime, most likely.